told me two months ago that I would be making my second tripod review in the same amount of months, then uh, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But here we are, and today we're taking a look at the KNF Concepts TC2534 full size carbon fiber budget tripod. Let's get into it. Hey friends, Will here. If you're new to the channel, then I do lots of product reviews, tutorials for filmmaking, photography, that sort of thing. So do consider subscribing to the channel if you want to get updated when I next upload a video. Today, I'm in a different location. I've been spending a lot of time in my garage recently, doing a bit of renovation, cleaning it up, making it nice. And because I haven't been getting out much, I thought, uh, yeah, it'd be nice change of scenery. So uh, I've sort of set up mini little studio in here for today's video. You know, thought it might be nice, bit of a change. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get on to the main point of the video, which is this tripod. A couple of months ago, I did a review of an Amazon Basics carbon fiber travel tripod that basically um, is really good. Uh, really enjoy using it and uh, it's been great. So after I did that video, a lot of people were quite impressed by the product um, and actually KNF Concepts, who you may have heard of, they're sort of quite a good camera brand, they do a lot of sort of affordable kind of camera equipment, bags, tripods, filters, that sort of stuff. Uh, they reached out to me and they said, if you think that Amazon tripod's good, you should try our carbon fiber tripod. Um, and they sent me this. Now this tripod is, um, it's a full size tripod. Again, fully carbon fiber. And uh, yeah, when I received it, I thought, oh, another tripod video. How exciting. But actually, uh, I want to show you this thing today because uh, I've been using it now for a couple of months, uh, mainly around the house, admittedly, because of where we are as a planet. But uh, yeah, spoiler alert, it's, it's pretty good. So let's take a quick look at it now. First things first, it comes in this travel bag carry case. Quite impressed, actually, by the quality of this bag. Uh, quite often when you buy sort of what might be considered a budget product, uh, the carry case or bag is the first thing that gets skimped on. But no, this is a nicely padded, feels really good quality. Nice heavy duty zips as well, which is really great. Um, and then as we take it out of the bag, we've got the main tripod there. And then in this bag, we've got a shoulder strap, some instructions and stuff, uh, a nice little uh, sort of felt velvety uh, bag which was on the ball head when I, when I got it, uh, which is nice. And then we also get this little tiny extension tube as well, uh, which is for one of the features which I'll get to. Uh, so the tripod itself, the tubes are carbon fiber. Um, it has got some metal components. I think they're aluminium, I'm not totally sure. But unlike the Amazon Basics tripod, which had some plastic components, this seems to be metal where it counts, if that makes sense. And then it has got sort of some other plastic and rubber components uh, to go alongside it. The tripod is marketed as being 67 inches tall. In fact, let's set it up now. Uh, one thing I will say is I really like these locks for the, the tripods. A lot of newer tripods seem to be adopting this style. I find them really quick and easy to work with. So that's the tripod at maximum height. So I make that 64 inches, which is about three inches shorter than they've marketed it at. I wonder if they're including the height of your camera on there, so the height to the lens maybe, or possibly they're including uh, this tiny little extension tube, which they also give you. So yeah, 64 inches is, is what I would consider to be the usable height. And as you can see, if I stand next to that, that is, about my nose level and I'm just under six foot. So that's, yeah, that's good 
Good height, a good height tripod. So the tripod comes in at 1.5 kilograms total weight, including the ball head, which after a quick look around at some other alternatives, I can tell you that is really lightweight, even if you're spending loads more money on something like a Manfrotto or a three-legged thing, actually weight-wise, you're not going to save uh, any more weight than, than what this tripod is going to offer you. It can save weight if you go for the smaller, like the Amazon Basics, again, uh, is just over a kilogram, but it's considerably shorter. So there's that trade-off. If you're really looking to save the weight, then you've got to decide whether you absolutely need the extra height uh, that this tripod is going to give you. But 1.5 kilograms, uh, you know, I can tell you from putting this on the side of my bag when it's full of gear, it really doesn't make a big difference whatsoever. It's really a joy to, to carry this thing around. And as I mentioned uh, previously, this tripod does actually come with quite a substantial 360 degree ball head with a quick release plate, which is Arca Swiss compatible. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, it's got a, a large ball. Uh, for the ball joint, uh, which means it's quite smooth, it's nice, and on the 360 degree uh, section, this does feel like it's sort of dampened, which is nice if you're just making sort of small adjustments. Uh, so I think that's pretty good for the price. The one thing I would say about the ball head is it does tilt 90 degrees, so if you want to shoot portraits, then that's fine, you can do that. However, it does lock out at exactly 90 degrees, which means that if you're on an uneven ground and your tripod's not completely level, then you don't have any leeway to tilt more than 90 degrees to get a level portrait, if that makes sense. Also, if you're shooting portrait and you've got a longer lens and your camera's quite heavy, by using the 90 degree tilt, you are taking your camera off the center of gravity and obviously leaning it over to one side. If I just show you here, if you imagine you're shooting like that, you're putting your camera here and therefore you're off the center of gravity. If you were wanting to use this for a lot of portrait stuff, I would actually recommend that you buy an L bracket, an Arca Swiss compatible L bracket, which allows you to then mount the camera sideways while still keeping the center of gravity of the camera over the center of the tripod. And then the final feature of the tripod, which I haven't talked about yet, is that one of these legs, this one here in fact, does detach and can be used as a monopod. So we just unscrew that here like so, and then you can either um, take the center column out of the tripod or attach this small extension tube to it, and then you can put your ball head on there and you've got a really nice monopod or walking stick, as the marketing says. I'm not sure anyone's using this as a walking stick, but you could. Um, so yeah, that's a nice touch. Uh, I've got a video specific Manfrotto monopod, which I really like. The thing that I find makes that so great is the fact it's got a fluid head on it. So this is probably better for uh, photography rather than video. Um, but then I think the same could be said for this entire tripod, actually. It is much more of a, a photography-specific tripod rather than video. So that is the product, a quick overview of it. So what's it been like using it, I guess you're asking. Um, this has been a real joy to use, actually. Um, when it comes to any budget product, there is always going to be a way off uh, between price and quality. In this case, though, I've been really surprised how sturdy and well built this feels and I think there's this this weird challenge with tripods in general which is a tripod by its very nature needs to be incredibly stable that's what makes a good tripod really solid not wobbly uh, and with that uh, comes weight essentially the heavier a tripod is the more sturdy it's gonna be. But the other main selling point of any tripod really is the weight. So the way off with any tripod that you're buying becomes how sturdy is it versus how heavy is it? And for this to be such a lightweight tripod, so easy to carry around, 
you don't really think twice about taking this somewhere. My other Manfrotto tripod, which the camera's on right now, you know, you think twice. Do I really need a tripod? Is the question I ask myself whenever I'm thinking about taking it anywhere, because it weighs, you know, three or four times the amount of this. Uh, but this one, yeah, super lightweight, you don't really think about it. Um, and whilst this is not as sturdy as a super heavyweight tripod, it's you know it's really pretty sturdy you know it's got the um it's got the hook on the center column here uh, so you can hang your bag or a sandbag or something off the center column if you want to get that extra sturdy um, shot but um, I was doing some sunset time lapse the other day I used this tripod on my roof terrace it was pretty windy and I had the Sony a7 III and the 90 mil Sony lens on there and I was really impressed actually it didn't have any wobble whatsoever in fact I'd done another time lapse a few days previous where I used my Manfrotto heavier weight tripod and that actually had slightly more shake enough for me to want to stabilize it in post-production whereas the uh, sunset I did with this tripod uh, very very minimal movement enough to say you know that I didn't really need to stabilize it in post-production so that's quite reassuring <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much everything about the tripod. Uh, let's just wrap up with some quick sort of pros and cons for, for this tripod, in my opinion, obviously. Um, so this is an incredibly cost-effective option. If price is your main concern, then you will be hard pressed to find a better quality lightweight carbon fiber tripod for the money that this is. On Amazon, as of now, uh, this is at 125 pounds. Um, the price does fluctuate. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down below so you can check out what the prices are in your region. Uh, but yes, very high quality uh, tripod for the money. Also, again, lightweight. You, you will be hard pressed to find a lighter tripod than this regardless of how much you spend. I mean, there probably are, if you really spend a huge amount more, you might be able to save a few grams, but but at this point, you know, you are talking about really minor savings. So 1.5 kilograms, so yeah, incredibly lightweight. It's a, definitely a pro for this tripod. Maybe not important to a lot of people, uh, but I've been really impressed by the bag that this tripod came in. It's always nice to have a nice way to store um, the products that we have. And uh, yeah, as I said earlier, a lot of the time when you buy a budget product, the bag is the first thing that they will skimp on. And I personally feel that this bag seems pretty good quality. Time will tell to see how it lasts, but it certainly seems good at the moment. Um, a lot of the time when you buy sort of generic branded uh, tripods and stuff, the ball head can be not great. And then you find yourself uh, spending extra money to replace the ball head with something else. Now, if you're just gonna use this for photography, then actually I think this ball head is great. As I said earlier, if you're doing a lot of portraits, you may wish to get an L bracket. But other than that, it's a, it's a really nice ball joint. Um, it works really effectively. So that's definitely a, a, a pro of the product. And, and finally, I think the, um, the monopod is a nice touch. As I said earlier, I don't think it's something that I necessarily use, but if you're a hobbyist or enthusiast photographer, then it does add another versatile item to your collection, uh, which means if you're just going out for a walk, you don't need a whole tripod, then perhaps the monopod is enough. And you can use it as a walking stick, apparently. I don't know who's doing that, but it's an option, isn't it? So that's the pros. Now let's talk about some of the cons. And I will say that I think that I'm being quite niggly with the cons that I've come up with for this product. Um, so the first con, subjective, obviously, uh, is that I would say that this tripod is definitely more focused towards photography than video. It doesn't have any kind of fluid head. It is quite lightweight by its nature. Um, so if you're looking for something specifically for video, um, then you might wanna look at other options which include a fluid head. However, for any sort of locked off shooting and stuff, I mean, you know, the kind of stuff that I do, I will be using this for, for video just as much um, but I guess to some people that might be a bit of a con. 
so it's just worth mentioning. Another con is the 90 degree tilt of the ball head. I would have preferred it if they just made it slightly more than 90 degrees so that if your tripod is on a slight angle, you can still sort of over correct by going over 90 degrees. This is a limitation of a lot of ball joints though. So I think I have to be a little bit fair on K and F, it's not just them, but nonetheless, I thought I would mention it. Um, and as I said earlier, easily solved if you buy an L bracket, an Arca Swiss compatible L bracket, which will fit this quick release plate. Um, and then you can obviously mount your entire camera sideways and have absolute full flexibility whilst also maintaining that center of gravity on your tripod. So yeah, a minor thing, but worth mentioning. Uh, the next con, and this is me really being picky, uh, the, this tripod doesn't offer the tilting center post. You know how some tripods, you can lift the center post out and bring it to a horizontal to do sort of overhead style stuff. Not a feature that this tripod offers, really niggly, I don't even know, I don't think I've seen any carbon fibre tripods that offer that functionality, so perhaps it's a limitation or just uh, KNF trying to keep the weight down because the centre column needs to be quite a lot more sturdier for that style of tripod. Not a massive thing, but it would have been so perfect if you could have done that kind of uh, tilting centre post to do those kind of overhead style shots. Uh, so a minor point, um, K and F concepts are probably watching this video being like, oh God, this guy, so picky. But you know, I'm just trying to share my, my honest thoughts with you. And then I guess the final con, and this is like, this was a pro and a con, is the fact that it is so lightweight. If you're traveling a lot, then it's a no brainer that this is an absolute positive to have a tripod that this light, that is this lightweight. If, however, you're mainly shooting in a studio environment, then you may find that it is better to sacrifice the lightweight nature of your tripod, go for something much heavier, much sturdier. Probably, actually, you could get a more sturdy tripod than this for less money if you're prepared to buy something which, which weighs a ton and isn't particularly portable. So I think, you know, it's a pro and a con. If you really want the lightest weight tripod, then absolutely it's a pro. If you're more interested in having something truly rock solid, uh, then I think there are probably better options for you to consider. For me personally, it's, it's kind of, I like a balance of both. I'm looking for something that is sturdy, whilst also easy to transport. And, and for me, I think this ticks both of those boxes pretty well. Um, so that's everything for today. That is the KNF Concepts TC2534 full size carbon fiber tripod. And if you haven't guessed already, I'm pretty impressed with it. I will be keeping this, it will be going into um, my bag for future use. Um, and yeah, I, I just think it, it's. It's, it's just a nice product. It works well, it does the job. Um, I still can't quite believe I'm doing a second video about tripods, but yeah, here we are. So um, I hope you found that informative, maybe even entertaining. If you did, hit the like button. If you like this sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. <laughs>